We'll see the working of a PNP transistor. A PNP transistor is like a two PN junction diodes which are placed back to back. At each junction, you will be having a depletion region which gives rise to a potential barrier. The external biasing of the junction is provided by the batteries of VEE and VCC. You are able to see VEE is a forward biasing to the emitter base junction because positive to positive. Over here, you got your reverse bias collector base junction which is minus and positive. The emitter base junction is forward biased and the collector base junction is reverse biased. Since the emitter base junction is forward biased, a large number of holes crosses the junction and enters the base. You are able to see here. At the same time, very few electrons are flow from the base to the emitter. These electrons, when they reach emitter, recombine with an equal number of holes in the emitter. The loss of the total number of holes in the emitter is made by flow of equal number of electrons from the emitter to the positive terminal of the battery. The flow of holes from emitter to the base gives rise to the emitter current IE. In the emitter IE is due to the flow of holes. But in the external circuit the current is due to the flow of electrons from the emitter to the positive terminal of the battery. The hole diffuses through the base. These holes take a very small time to flow through this region before they reach the depletion region. Here is the depletion regions. During this time, a very small number of holes are recombined with an equal number of electrons in the base. Because the base is lightly dopped and very thin, this number is really small. The loss of total number of electrons per second is made by the flow of equal number of electrons from the negative terminal of BEE into the base. The flow of these electrons contribute to the base current that's IB. The remaining number of holes which do not undergo recombination process in the base reaches the collector. They are neutralized by an equal number of electrons flowing from the negative terminal of the battery VCC into the collector. At the same time, an equal number of electrons flow from the negative terminal of VEE and reach the positive terminal of VCC. The flow of holes per second from the base to the collector gives rise to the collector current IC from the base to the collector. In the external circuit, it is due to the flow of electrons from the negative terminal of the battery VCC into the collector. So, as per the uh, Kirchhoff's current law to the circuit, uh, the emitter current is the sum of the collector current, collector current and the base current. So, IE is equal to IB plus IC. This equation is the fundamental relationship between the currents in the transistor circuit. This equation is true regardless of transistor type or transistor configurations. The action of NPN transistor is really similar to the PNP transistor. The condition is you are able to see the direction of the current is different.
and it's due to the voltage here the battery this is PNP and this one is NPN. 